I knew I shouldn't have got carried away then. I shouldn't have checked my time. But never mind. Right, so I've got this example. I've got 5G acting. It's just sat there. I'm going to push it with a P and I'm going to have friction stopping it. So I'm just going to work out what the friction, what F max is going to be. So I need to look, I need to do F equals MA vertically or perpendicular. So up, take away down is equal to zero because it's not floating around the room. It's not burying itself through the surface. So R minus 5G is zero. So R is 5G. So my F max now is mu R. And it tells me that mu is 0 0.6 times 5G. Oops. So that gives me 29.4 newtons for the frictional for F max. Well, that's your limiting one. So if it's less than 29.4, it doesn't go anywhere. If it equals 29.4, it's right on the verge of moving. That's that limiting point, right on the edge. And then if it's greater than 29.4, it's moving. So if you look for A, if P is 12 newtons, then P is less than 29.4 newtons. It's stationary. It's not going anywhere. There's no chance of it at all. For B, if P is 29.4 newtons, my P is equal to F max. Uh, I guess I could have put here, couldn't I, that P is less than F max. Here, my P is 29.4. So my P is F max. So it's right on the edge. It's right on the verge of moving. So that's this limiting part that's there. So it's right on the edge. Is that hard to write? Right on the edge of moving. And then for C, if P is 40 newtons, then P is greater than the 29.4, so P is greater than F max, and it's moving. I hope that kind of makes some sense. So then there's a, an example here. So it says a block of mass 6 kilos is accelerating at 1.25 on a horizontal. Oops, that's not very horizontal. That's not overly better, but never mind. So I've got 6G, I've got R acting up, um, it's got a horizontal force of 22.5, it's got friction acting against it, it's got an acceleration of 1.25. So what do you want to do? It wants us to find the horizontal, so find the, the, the frictional force. Right then, so if we do F equals MA perpendicular or vertically, it's in equilibrium because it's not floating away. So I've got R minus 6G is 0, so R is 6G. So that's okay. And then if I do F equals MA parallel or horizontal, the force in the direction of travel minus the force opposing it is equal to a mass times acceleration. So 22.5 minus friction is equal to mass of 6 times by 1.25. Don't need a bracket there, do I? So my friction, if I do a little rearrange, you've got 22.5 minus 6 times 1.25 uh, is going to be equal to friction. So what's that going to be? Um, that's 7. Point Five, so there'll be 15 there, that's friction, right? So then, F max is mu r. I want to work out mu, so 15 is mu times 6g. If I divide through, mu is 0 0.25. Mu is uh, dimensionless as well, has no units. So there's one there for you to have a go at. Uh, this vid's nearly run out. Hopefully it will show just before it cuts out in a second. 